guys, what's going on? My name is Steel Structure Gaming, and today we're gonna rank every single hunter in the entire game. So be sure to check it out. At our lowest spot is the gamekeeper. With his chain, he definitely doesn't stand a place in the whole entire game. Because his his chain got nerfed and his chain cannot hit things now and so he takes the number last spot. Even if you say his chains are good, he's still got lower walk speed and lower kicking pellet speed, so he still takes the number last spot. It's hard to put it here, but I'm putting the spider crane at our number eight spot. Why does the Spider Queen go to number 8 spot? He's got a short range, he's got good kicking pellet speeds, but his literally ability is pretty much useless. The fly speed is legit bad, and people can dodge it very easily. So, if you're trying to win some ranking, don't use the Spider Queen. But if you're searching for some fun, putting people in cocoons is definitely what you're thinking for. So use the pirate spider coin if you want to play funny. Ripper was one of the fan favorites. I hate to put him here, but he's taking the number seven spot. Because his nerfed ability, now he can't make such a powerful wind strike anymore. All he does is to make some cold wind so it really doesn't take the spot. And he's lefty and has short range, short kicking speed, normal walking speed, you've got it. But if you wanna play as a gentleman, you definitely choose the Ripper because Ripper will get the most love. After such a gigantic buff, I had to put him here, it's the Hell Amber. Before I would probably put him to the second to last, but now he's got AI bots to help him. It really brings the intensity of the game up. And if somebody's good, not good, you put down your doll and your doll's gonna do all the massive murder for you. And good kicking speed, good walking speed. Hell Amber is the normal guy. He walks normal, he kicks normal, he hits normal. But he's got decent range, you can do some good through the pellet hits, and I think it's not too shabby to play with him. The Geisha was the second fan favorite. It's cool, I know, but the Geisha has a short range that is short to almost none range. But if you go with it, you can use it no matter what, like the Ripper. But this short blade does give you some disadvantages, but it's not that difficult to win. And he's got such a powerful ability, which he can cr pass through walls and teleport straight at your feet. That is legit insanity. And it can make up the short range and make him the number five place indeed. And. He's cool and all, he's got the new release, the release holding animation which he holds the survivors at, up their neck and it looks super fun. You can definitely play some gentle rounds with this and people will love you, will absolutely love you. One of the most annoying and most hated Hunter for the survivors is absolutely the Feaster. The Feaster has such an amazing ability. They can hit people from a thousand miles away and got good decent range. Got a hilariously long range when he charged the shot and it's almost guaranteed to hit through the wall or through the pellet, which is absolutely insane. But mind that slow speed you got there. If he wasn't with that slow speed, I'll probably put him in number one. But number one's got a faster speed and it's gonna be damn good. But if you wanna play some really hilarious rounds, and the feast is definitely for you. I have to give it to Wu Chong, but he is one of the most hardest guys to master 
in the entire arcade game universe. It has a, such a distorted ability, which has over four possibilities, and it's legitimately insane. And and also he has an insanely long charge shot range, and he's got a pretty decent slamming the pellet speed and a good walk speed. And changing to the different sides it really doesn't matter, but all about them abilities. If you can master him, he's definitely one of the best. But if you can't master him, he's probably about like last place. So I'm gonna put him at number three. But the number two and number one are way too good. Although it's relatively new, but I gotta say he's one of the best. He has such an amazing ability that I don't even understand. He can enter a dream world just like Freddy Krueger but is way more looking good and OP at the Freddy Krueger and got a decent range, got an amazing pellet speed and amazing slash speed and well insane, insane ability master rate. Ah, uh, what the good old days. The smiley face slow holds number one. With his insane range of slashes and his awesome rocket, he takes the crown, dudes. He's took the crown since the beginning of Identity 5. And how does he take the crown, you might ask? He's got some insane things. First, he can charge at insane speed. Second, he can roll around the map with boosters. Third, yeah, basically everything about him is strong. He can step pillars fast. He can run fast. He can be all good. He can teleport and kill people in an instant be by just tapping rocket and then tapping slash at the same time. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave your ideas down in the comments below. Who you think is the best hunter and the first comment will get pinned. Have you guys all enjoyed this video? I've made it used a long time to make this. So be sure to check other things out. Bye.